Inflation has eased substantially over the past year, while the labor market has remained strong. And that's very good news. But inflation is still too high. Further progress in bringing it down is not assured, and the path forward is uncertain. Today, the FOMC decided to leave our policy interest rate unchanged and to continue to reduce our securities holdings, though at a slower pace. We've stated that we do not expect that it will be appropriate to reduce the target range for the federal funds rate until we have gained greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2%. So far this year, the data have not given us that greater confidence. In particular, and as I noted earlier, readings on inflation have come in above expectations. It is likely that gaining such greater confidence will take longer than previously expected. I, I think it's unlikely uh, that the next policy rate move will be a hike. I'd say it's unlikely. Um, you know, our policy focus is really what I just mentioned, which is, which is uh, how long to keep policy restrictive. I think there's also other paths that the economy could take which, which would cause us to want to consider rate cuts, and those would be two, two of those paths would be that we do gain greater confidence, as we've said, if that inflation is moving sustainably down to 2 percent. And another path could be, you know, a, an unexpected weakening in the labor market, for example. So those are paths in which, in, in which you could see us uh, uh, cutting rates. So I think there, it really will depend on the data.